This is literally what nightmares are made of. <laughs> So welcome to my locker, this little creepy space that stores a lot of my stuff. And today I really wanted to make this pretty etched bowl design. I saw one on Urban Outfitters and it really inspired me, but it is just a little bit too small. And I know that I have a big wood bowl somewhere in here that I think would be perfect. Now, obviously the issue is finding anything in here, okay? Because everything's in bags to protect it from the dust. And so I'm just gonna have to search around here. Now, this space is actually such an improvement for me because I live in such a small apartment, so I needed some extra storage space. And obviously the challenge in here is that nothing's really that organized. One day I'm gonna have a solution, but today is not the day. So I'm just searching around here and hopefully I will find my bowl pretty quickly. I found it, <laughs> but I might have caused an avalanche. We're good. Okay, so we have our bowl all ready to go. And then also to do the wood burning, I ordered this wood burning tool off of Amazon. I've never used this before. I have no idea how it's gonna go, um, but I figure how hard can it be? Okay, so I've just done some test markings on the back to make sure I could figure out what was happening here. I had to set this to like high, so that's what we're working with. And so far, I think that is so cool. There's so many opportunities for what I can do with this. So let's start with the design and see how it goes. So I wondered, oh, nice mark on my face. <laughs> um, I really wondered if the smoke smell was gonna be in my head, so I wanted to test and no, nope, it's going strong. So highly recommend some sort of mask.
Okay, so I'm done with my little wood burning tool and that was actually surprisingly easier than I thought it was gonna be. But the next step is going to have to be finishing off the bowl so that it is protected and can be used and like have fruits in it or salad in it. And I think I have a type of natural oil finish. The question just is, where is it? Because <laughs> I don't know if it's back down in my locker and I have to go back down in there or if it's like somewhere hidden in a cabinet, but I have a feeling it's in my locker. So I'm gonna look around and we'll see if I can pester my husband to take me back down to the locker because I don't wanna go by myself, okay? Just is what it is. Now, I feel like if it's anywhere, it's gonna be up here. Almost just died. All right. Yeah. I think the oil is downstairs. I don't think so. Okay. Well, I think it is. <laughs> yeah, I guess we can go check. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Back at it again. Success! <laughs> Now what I really love about this project is how much nature comes together in unison. I love that this is a handmade wooden bowl that now has this added traditional decoration on top. It feels like something our ancestors would have done and that just makes it so special. I love that I can finish it off with this tongue oil that is also this natural product that comes from the earth. And I am so happy and get so much joy from seeing this project come to life. Now that I have my brand new fruit bowl, I can move right along to making something else inspired by Urban Outfitters. just here without anything like down on the table. Please, I would never do that. I pretty much always put down these like plastic tablecloths and I'll reuse them a bunch of times. I'll also reuse them for giving my husband haircuts and stuff like that. So I just love them and they protect my surfaces. Now I need to go get Mod Podge, which I think is somewhere in here, if I remember correctly. Found it! Now this project is going to be such a pretty bright accent and one thing I've been thinking about recently is how much our tastes are influenced by just what's trendy as opposed to what's actually just pretty. Bright colors like pink and yellow and orange and fuchsia, they symbolize life and brightness and just feeling happy. And it makes me wonder why we don't keep these types of colors in our spaces. So today I thought I'd pick a color that is bright and sunny and happy and is a color that we probably would have really enjoyed as kids. Close the curtains, some purple tea. Reach out for me.
curtain Ooh, some herbal tea